Hey guys, let's find the slant asymptote for this equation right here. First off, what is a slant asymptote? So here's the Desmos of this graph. And if we zoom out, we can see it has a vertical asymptote and also has a slant asymptote. It's not a horizontal asymptote, it's at a slant. It's what the function approaches is x goes to negative infinity or positive infinity. So how do we find this equation? Well, a good way to find it is long division and then dropping the remainder. So I'll show you that. First, let's draw the long division bar. And then this 2x minus 3 will be on the outside. And then on the inside, we're going to have this stuff, but we need to distribute the negative. So it's going to be negative 2x squared plus 15x minus 2. So then we ask ourselves, how many times does 2x go into negative 2x squared? That is going to be negative x times. Negative x times 2x is negative 2x squared, and negative x times negative 3 is positive 3x. Next, we want to subtract this blue stuff from the red stuff. So this negative is going to distribute, which will make this a positive and this a negative. These two cancel each other out, and 15x minus 3x is 12x, and then we bring down the minus 2. Now how many times does 2x go into 12x? It goes in 6 times. 6 times 2x is 12x, and 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. And then once again, we want to subtract this blue line from the black line. Let's distribute the negative on the inside, so this one will become negative and this one will become positive. 12x minus 12x is 0, and negative 2 plus 18 is positive 16. So technically the answer is plus 16 over 2x minus 3. As our x approaches positive or negative, negative infinity, this whole term is going to approach zero. So we drop this to get the equation of our asymptote. So our final answer is y equals negative x plus six. So that's how to find the slant asymptotes. If you guys want to try a couple more of these, I have a page on andymath.com. There's a link down in the description. How exciting.